What's up guys, this is Chris from Terrestrial Imaging and we're out in the field today to demonstrate the newly released live broadcasting feature for the LP12 speaker spotlight combo. So the LP12 is a two-in-one attachment and sits on top of the Matrice 30 series. It features a gimbalized spotlight and a downward facing megaphone. But for this video, we're really only going to be focusing on the megaphone component because recently some new firmware was released that allows you to use the live broadcasting feature. Now prior to live broadcasting, you actually had to upload pre-recorded audio files to an SD card. That SD card then goes into the side of the LP12 and you'll broadcast it that way via some buttons on your controller. Now, if you didn't want to use that route, you also did have text-to-speech. With text-to-speech, you were able to type into a keypad, hit send, and it would play that right out of the megaphone. Now, obviously, those two uh, situations might not always be ideal. So with the live broadcasting feature now, what it enables is the ability to talk into the controller's microphone and have your voice broadcasted in real time out of the LP12 speaker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the LP12 onto our Matrice 30T, put it on the launch pad, get it in the air, and show you guys what it looks like to access the payloads interface, click the recording button, speak into the controller, and then show you what it actually sounds like while it's in the air. So I have my M30T in the air with the LP12 on top. So what we're gonna do now is focus in on the controller and I'm gonna show you guys how to actually access and control the features of the LP12. So on the bottom, you'll see the PSDK button. That button is only gonna pop up after the LP12 is connected and initialized to the Matrice 30T or the Matrice 30. When you power on the drone, it might take a couple seconds or even up to a minute for that PSDK to initialize and that button to even be visible. So now I'm gonna click that button and you'll see by default on the bottom right, indicated by the blue color, I have the record feature already selected. If I wanted to change to real time, I would then click real time and you'll see that icon change to like a hot mic symbol. So the difference between record and real time is that when I have record selected, I'm going to record into the controller's microphone. When I'm done talking, I'm gonna hit stop recording and then whatever I had recorded will then be played out of the megaphone on the LP12. Now, if I go to real time, um, talking into the microphone on the controller, whatever I say will be broadcasted in real time out of the LP12's megaphone. Now, keep in mind, if I have that LP12 aiming directly at me, like I do in the video, I am going to get a little bit of feedback. So the video, or rather the audio, is gonna go to the microphone in the controller, out the megaphone on the LP12, and then it's gonna feedback loop back through the microphone, back to the LP12, and so on. So to avoid that feedback loop, either lower the volume, fly further away, or actually rotate the drone so that way the LP12 is not aiming directly at your microphone. Okay, so I'll actually demonstrate what that feedback loop looks like in just a sec. But to start, we're gonna look at record. And from record, once I have that selected, I'm then gonna hit the microphone button. Right now, you'll see that I do have a live mic indicated by that red record button. If it wasn't live, there would be a blue, feed, uh, blue broadcast button. Click that first, enables the microphone. So from here, I'm gonna record what I'm saying, and once I'm done recording and I hit stop, it will play it. So test, 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 test. So you see it played that right out of the megaphone. Now there was no feedback loop because once you're done recording, that microphone is shut off. Now, if you guys want to, there's also a little loop button on the top right. If you click that loop button, it'll just keep looping over and over again what you had just recorded. Now, if I go change it to real time and I hit the microphone button, remember hitting the blue button will enable the microphone. Once I hit the red button, it's gonna start recording. So here you will get a little bit of feedback. It's actually gonna cut off what I'm saying out of the microphone due to the feedback. So test, 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 test. So you hear a little bit of that feedback. Now, keep in mind, if you look at the laser rangefinder, um, which is indicated by like the red crosshair in the middle of the screen, the drone is 202 feet away from me right now, and it's flying or rather hovering at 113 feet. So the drone is not totally too far away, um, and that's what you're hearing at 100% volume. So just to give it a little test here, I'm gonna back it up. We'll go to like 300 plus feet, 
Cool. So I'm now at 370 feet away from uh, where I am right now, and the drone is 163 feet high. So right now I am going to open up the microphone again. I'm going to select real time, and I'm going to start recording. Test, test, test. I'm far away. So hopefully you guys were able to hear that. That's pretty far. Um, let me just make sure I have everything set to max volume. Uh, no, I was actually at 30%. So I heard that quite clear, but the microphone not, might not have picked that up. So let me increase that to 100% volume now. Test, test, test. So I'm getting that feedback again. Despite how far it is, it's still picking it up. So let me just angle the drone a little bit. Test, test, test. So it got a little bit less feedback, but it's still pretty dang loud. So that's pretty much the features for the LP12 that were just released with this new firmware. So again, you're gonna have that record and real time options available to you guys now. And that's all gonna be able to, uh, you know, start recording via the microphone button. You'll access the microphone by hitting broadcast, hit the red button, and then you'll go from there. So that wraps up our video on the LP12's two new features, live broadcasting and pre-recorded broadcasting. Now, during the video, I'm sure you guys didn't get the full effect of the intensity of the volume actually coming from the LP12, as the mic I'm using was kind of drowning it out a bit. But if you guys get the LP12 and you end up flying it and testing it, make sure, especially if you're indoors, that you lower the volume down considerably, because at 100%, you could end up hurting your ears. Now, if you guys are looking to buy the LP12, be sure to leave some comments below. Call us at 800-359-0530 or find us online at terrestrialimaging.com.